Oh, yes. And now we'll get set up for our composite patch experiment. Okay, in this situation we're going to use a popular uh, manufactured material that's used for patching a brownstone. Again, we need to clean out our mix container. Try and get some of the water out of there. We don't want the impurities. The water changes the color of this material. You need to use a um, latex additive with this mixture. So we take our material. I'll show it to you. This is our composite patch brownstone material that we're going to use here. I'm sure many of you know exactly what we're doing. You notice there might you might be able to see or pick up there the little shiny spots of mica. It's cool. So we dump the brownstone material into our container, store our cup. We take a little bit of the latex liquid, the milk. And we put it in there and mix, mix, mix to our great delight. This is again is a uh, one of our controlled. Whoops, uh, not so controlled. Uh, our controlled samples because we're going to do this with the grape nuts and a 50/50 mix of composite patch mortar with grape nuts. And then we're going to see how it holds up as a brownstone composite patch material. Hopefully it will imitate the characteristics of brownstone sufficiently that algae would grow on it. Get this just where we need it to be. Uh, come on, baby. Mix, mix, mix. There we go. Okay. And we put this in our little pan. In the pan. Ah, oh, there we go. Spread that down. Consolidate it. Yeah, nice, nice little cake. You can use these to make paperweights. If you make a molded shape, then uh, you can have little objects. Okay, so the next step is the brownstone. Uh, uh, grape nuts mix which we put in this bag because we wanted to make sure that we had everything well mixed before we started. We get out another little tray and we dump the contents of this bag into our mortar mixing tub. This is why I have the limestone. And we add the milk. Now it's not unusual to put milk in your grape nuts. So I'd advise that you don't try to eat this because the mortar uh, mix material is probably not, well, you know, it has a lot of fiber, but it also has minerals. I don't think that I will be able to get this material warrantied by the manufacturer. And again, it's a uh, fairly coarse mix. We take our pan, we dump it in. Ooh. Dump it all in. Get a little bit in there. Okay. Once again, we have a little bread loaf here. We could try putting this into the oven and see if it rises. I'd have to probably put some yeast in it, but yeah, it's an idea. We can do that next. We'll see how this set of experiments goes, and then we'll see what... Possibly you will have some suggestions. OK. 
Okay, nice little cake. Yeah, it looks like deteriorated brownstone to me. Pretty much. Let's see? Okay. Now we are going to make a mixture with 